Welcome into the 2015 Wayne State Baseball Preview for the GLIAC Media Days. Coach, pitching seems to be a strength. Talk about how Kyle Zimmerman and Alex Kinch need to perform to be your leaders on the, on, on the field, off the field, and just to be successful this year. Sure. Uh, Kinch and Zimmerman both had uh, great years last year in a starting role at the top end of our rotation. Uh, picked up a lot of experience, and uh, we need them to continue to build with that momentum going into this year. Uh, not only that, uh, some other guys on the pitching staff, Brandon Hall, Chris Horbath, Tyler Thompson, uh, some of the new guys uh, like Toby, Conti needs to step up this year now. And uh, But definitely the pitching staff, you got to be good on the mound. Mm -hmm. And uh, depth-wise, guys need to buy into the roles, whether they're a starter, uh, a middle-of-the-game reliever, maybe a situational uh, pitcher out of the bullpen, or a closer potentially. Like uh, Jeff Sorensen had a good year last year out of the bullpen. Yeah. Uh, Point uh, four six ERA. He yeah. had to come in and do some big things out of the bullpen as well. But everyone's got to buy the role on the mound and uh, on and off the field. The way they prepare and practice and uh, the way they go after competition is going to be key for us. Now those two guys, along with a host of other people, helped your team win a program record thirty six wins last year. Um, is there a fear of letdown or what needs to happen um, to play at that level or exceed it to, to achieve your goals? Well, it's a great question. I think every year uh, presents challenges and opportunities. Uh, so obviously we got to replace uh, some key people that uh, graduated and moved on. We had some really good catching uh, yeah. depth last year. Now we got some new catchers behind the plate. Uh, not a lot of experience back there, but guys have been working hard in practice. Uh, but you know we got to do certain things. We got to fill some voids on some injuries. Some of the guys that had um, a little bit of experience uh, prior to last year uh, got to step up this year. So I think expectations are there. Uh, we're, we want to be uh, as, as good as we can be. Uh, so we just got we got to keep grinding out and pushing forward. It's not like this so much anymore with the new bats, but you got to score runs in college baseball to win. Talk about who you'll look to offensively to, to get those runs across. Sure. Well, we mentioned Zimmerman already. Uh, defensively on the mound, uh, we're looking for him to continue his offensive strengths with us uh, in the batter's box. But people like Griffin Harms, who did some special things last year, uh, mid to late year of the season. Uh, people like Cole Clifton that we talked about prior, but a lot of other guys in the mix as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Some new guys, some guys that are returning. Uh, I think collectively as a whole, we got to do it from the top to the bottom in the lineup, uh, off the bench and pitch at rolls, run the base as well. Offensively, we got to do a lot of things. Entering your seventh season as a head coach, obviously much longer as a part of a coaching staff and, and around the game, how has your philosophy changed uh, through the years, if, if at all? Uh, I've, I've stuck pretty close to the things that uh, we did in the first year that I became head coach and even prior to that as an assistant coach here. Uh, we want to really focus on graduating and winning a high level academically and at, uh, athletically, getting the most out of our ability. Uh, we want to always have a team first approach, represent Wayne State University on the front of our jerseys, and continue to build leadership. Uh, those are the three pieces that uh, I've really abided by when it comes to my coaching philosophy. It hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, some things I might do a little bit different here and there. Uh, we've had different assistant coaches mm -hmm. that bring different ideals, and we got some good coaching coaches in place uh, that really take pride in what they're doing uh, at their specific positions and field work. And uh, we're just looking to continue to move forward and, and, and do the best that we can. There's some expectations. Uh, you've built a program where every season you're you're battling for GLIACs. You're in the you're in the preseason discussion, uh, top 25. How do you temper those expectations, and how do you uh, get people going in the right direction to in the in setting goals for your for sure. your program? Uh, I think we try to keep things as simple as we can. Uh, I think people have an idea uh, of what our goals are within the department and our program. Uh, but we gotta just keep it simple. I mean, we gotta focus on each day, each pitch, mm -hmm. uh, having the best practice we can, uh, having the best team meetings that we can, and just getting ready to play that next game. Not so much in 50 games now, but just yeah. staying right in that course and staying consistent. Baseball is a very difficult sport. It's a game of failure. Everyone knows that. Uh, so we gotta find a way to keep that even keel and just get the most of our, our, ourselves mentally and physically. All right. Thanks for the time, Josh. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for watching this preview of the 2015 season. Be sure to follow along with baseball as they open non-conference play towards the end of February.